So here it is. Got it all uh, jigged up. Of course, since I uh, did the last little update thing, I, I've changed my mind about a couple things. So I am gonna come in, I'm gonna cut the whole front section off this. So here, cut it there. Then down here, I'm gonna re-loop it. So I'm gonna cut the sidecar loops off. Um, up in the neck, I'm gonna change the neck. I showed you guys how I didn't like how ground a lot of this was. Um, it's probably not a huge deal, but I don't really want to spend a load of time, you know, covering everything up. So, since we're going to have more chopper, I got some other necks. So, I got these two options here. This is a 40 degree cast um, neck. It's super nice. Problem is, somebody screwed up when they machined it. So, I don't know if you can tell the whole is completely oblong and in the wrong spot for the um, stem. So what I'm thinking is I have this usable neck over here and I've already prepped this and cleaned it up quite a bit. This one was a total nightmare getting the slugs out of. That's why you can see how big the holes are, but I just want something that's gonna be safer. Um, and this still has unground uh, sleeves up here. So it'll be a lot stronger than what's on the bike right now. But I'm going to cut this uh, channel out of this with the original forging and weld it into this deck. And then, uh, then it'll have kind of a stock look and you know you won't really tell. But that's the idea. front section is off nice and easy uh, it's a little more time consuming with a sawzall than a bandsaw but it definitely works there it is right there so we'll save that for something down the road um, so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna run the backbone today or at least get it cut the length um, there's a plug inside this and you can see it comes straight off the casting for the seat post here and they're always a nightmare to get off you can see there's a full weld seam around it. Um, so what I'm gonna do is pull the material off. I could have just left it extended out to here and sleeved it, but I, I, don't, I just wanna run a whole new one. It makes me feel better about riding it. So I'm gonna uh, pull this off. I'm not gonna film it. Um, Cause it's gonna take me a while and then I'll check back in when this is uh, off the bike. Okay, so we got it off. Here's the piece that was slipped over the backbone. Now you can see what I was talking about with the slug. This is all cast into the forge, so super strong. I want to leave that there. You can see when I cut it, I beveled down in it a little bit. So what I'll do is I'll clean this all up real good, come back in, do a filler pass to add the meat back on there. Um, then we'll be ready to start working with this. Material-wise, so here's the tubing for the backbone. This is... Uh, 180 wall 4130 chromoly um, and I wanted to make sure and run chromoly on this and I went a little thicker the legs are going to be 120 since there's double the support but uh, the reason I went thicker is because when I redo this I'm not going to run this cross brace so all the stress will be on this backbone and on the legs and on the neck so I wanted to go as thick as I could um, to prevent any future problems so what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to take this uh, tube of chromoly and I'm going to bore this out to fit the slug. Um, since, like I said, I got a thicker wall. So I'll bore it out about an inch and a half, put it on the lathe real quick. And then uh, we'll come back. We'll start getting some rough measurements and uh, also prep this too. I'll just hit it with a Brillo pad while it's spinning and get it ready to weld on. But yeah, so we're going to start with that and keep moving.
made it off the lathe here. So you can see the inside of this tubing I bored out. The drill bits I had were super burnt, so I had to use a boring bar. But we got that uh, to an inch and a quarter on the inside. Because like I said, this is 188 wall. Um, threw a little bevel on it so everything welds good. Now is the time I got to start thinking about uh, hard to do this with one hand, but there we go. Now I got to start thinking about how high up I actually want to go in the neck. Stock was somewhere around there. Probably bring it up like that, maybe two and a half, three inches up in the front, something like that. Um, but I'm not going to do this tonight. Uh, I need to cut the sidecar loops off so I can get everything straight and fixture it in the neck, but I don't have them yet. These are the older style sidecar loops, or it's not older, it's just not a reproduction. So it's a slip-in, so the actual tubing would slip in, you plug weld it and do the seam. The new ones I got are actual plugged uh, sidecar loops, so it's forged with the plug, so it slips to the tubing, and I wanna see exactly where those are gonna line up first. Um, so tonight I am going to finish up with this neck I'm gonna get ready to derake it. Uh, I'm not gonna do it tonight. Like I said, I need the rest of the stuff. I want this to come back down to maybe a 43 degree rake, maybe 40, 40, 43, somewhere on there. Nothing too crazy, I'm not particular on it, but um, so I'll get the angle finder on it and everything and sort that out tomorrow. But you can see I'm gonna come in here. This isn't the cut size, but I need to take probably five degrees out of this neck. So I'll cut with my bandsaw up here from the bottom up. And then on the top right here, I'll do a little relief cut right here. And I'll come down about that deep, leave maybe a half inch of meat on there. And then uh, I'll have to heat it up and get a bar on the front and pull it down slowly. Or I could do it uh, with a bar on the back like this too. So that's the plan. I'm gonna put the relief cuts in the neck real quick. Possibly window this. I don't think I want to do it on this bike, but I might. And uh, yeah, see what, uh, see what I get in the mail in the next day or two and hopefully get these loops done. <clears throat> now you can see what we're left with. I did about a quarter inch cut out of uh, the bottom there. You can see through it. You can see through it better like that. So it's a quarter inch cut down there. I'm not sure if you can see, I did the relief through the top. So we're left with uh, maybe about a half an inch of solid material there. You can see better on this side. So that is what I'm gonna bend. I only took a quarter inch, because like I said, I'm gonna um, still leave a bunch of rake in it. And this is one of those things too, if you're not super confident with your welding and or whoever's doing it, don't even do it. Sidecar loops are on. I'm gonna run a vibrator here to keep them uh, squared up with each other so everything stays straight here. See, look pretty good. There's a little wiggle room in there. There won't be once these top tubes go on. Right now, I got to figure out the uh, the backbone. So I got to grind this down to get the right angle, so there's enough meat that I can shift it up like that. And then we'll figure out the measurements from here to the straight leg, and I can start cutting and machining the tubes down. You can see there's a step lip inside. And I want to make sure they sleeve all the way into that, especially on the top. We got the uh, front down tubes done. So you can see I machine them down to fit into the into the groove just like the fronts. I gotta straighten this out. And then uh, I had to take just a nick off the outside to um, get into the forging here. But I'm gonna put these in right now and I'll cut the bottoms um, when I'm ready, but they're gonna need a little convincing still. They're still tight, so I'm gonna hammer these in. Um, make sure they're snug and then check the bottom and see where we're at. Okay, so I had to go back and uh, do a couple more trims on the uh, front down tubes. So at this point, 
there's still a good amount of material. Uh, I'll show you why I had to trim it more when I get it back on. But since it's such a structural thing, I made some slugs. So I'm gonna just slug them back down, plug weld them, and uh, just uh, make it a little more rigid up top. Once it gets to here, I'm not worried about it because it's super strong. Um, but from here up, I don't ever want to have a problem. So I'm gonna slug them, plug weld it, uh, and then we'll uh, put the neck on the bike, see where we're at. Shut off the camera for a bit. I get uh, frustrated. Um, we were here last night till like three in the morning, so uh, I just shut it off and kept working. Angle's perfect. Um, I had a little fight with this thing over getting the sidecar loops perfectly straight. That was the hardest part. I thought that bar would keep everything square, and it kind of does, but it's not perfect. Um, but everything's fixtured right now. It's ready to go. So I'm going to come in and start tack welding, do the lower leg, upper leg, uh, a couple tacks on the neck here, then we'll get the backbone. And once everything's tacked on, I'm going to come in and either A, slice this, bend it up a little bit so it fits center on the backbone, or I might heat it up and see if I get a little press under there to put some pressure. It's getting a lot closer though. We're almost down to the deraking. So yeah, throw some tacks on everything so it all holds, and then uh, get ready to start deraking. A little noisy in here right now. She's all welded up. Took me to uh, shoot three different heat cycles. And I was getting ready to do the neck here, but I remembered about these. So I'm gonna come in right now. I'm gonna heat it up. I'm gonna just get a big wrench on there and see if I can just, if I can get this to budge a half inch, it'll be good. So I'm gonna try with these real quick, see what happens. And then we'll move on to the, the neck. As you can see, they now fit. A little bit of heat, a little crowbar, bent them right up. So I just got those tacks in place right now. I don't want them to, uh, I don't want to weld them when it's this hot. So I'm gonna let them cool first. But there you go. We're finally here. About time, everything's done and it's ready to derake. Show you how I did it real quick, or the setup inch and a half piping turned down to fit into the neck cup, slips in, inch and an eighth tubing slides through the inch and a half tubing, and it's gonna keep it super square. And I know this front frame rail is squared with the rest of the jig. So what I'm gonna do is mark a center line down this. I'll also mark the top of this rod that I'm gonna bend it with. And as we pull, we'll just gently pull down until we get the bend we want for the degree. Back on the fixture again. Just wanted to show you guys. So here's the bevel I did. The neck's cool now. Here's the uh, little neck support I'm gonna go with. I don't know, basic, whatever, it'll work. And then uh, 
After I do the first pass on this, I'll come back and hit one leg on here, do another pass, and then come back and finish the other leg. And then we'll come back, do the weave, blend it down really quick, and put in the cross brace. Neck is filled, so I ended up doing more passes than I thought. I thought it was gonna be a three pass. Did a root, then I did a hot pass, and it was three weaves on top of that. So it ended up being five passes. That's, it makes me feel good about it. Um, I don't know if you can see how thick that weave is in there, but it's a thick one. Uh, so I'm gonna dremel this down right now. Just barely, just shape it, I guess, back into the neck so you don't see the weld. Then I got the, uh, Backbone's done here. Oop, oop, wrong way. There we go. So we got the or the rear legs welded on. That's pretty much it. I'm gonna tack in this small piece here um, right after I dremel it. I'm not I'm not gonna finish weld that in. I'll, I'll do it later. I'm burnt and I want to pull this thing off the the jig. So yeah, tack it in and uh, call it a night. So I did a terrible job at filming all this. I got really rushed. Uh, one of my friends ended up putting a ride together in five weeks, I think. So I have five weeks to get the complete engine redone. I got to rebuild the whole trans and then get it fully painted, chromed, upholstered, all the fun stuff. Thank God the frame's done. I think the, the rake looks a lot better on it. So we're right at uh, 38 now. The bars are gonna go. Those are just on so I could sit on it when I made the new seat pan. Uh, new sissy bar, little uh, pipe extensions, just a little more oomph. Little scallop tips. So that's pretty much it for as far as I'm gonna go uh, with mocking it up. I got all the mounts I need. Everything's there. I actually had this tank from years ago here. Um, so we're gonna throw that on it. Still seals good. Got a lot of good, good trips on that tank. Yeah, we're gonna start breaking it down and prep it. Get it ready to send out to a chrome or polish and whatever else I need to do. But I think it's gonna look pretty good. Didn't wanna go crazy with this. Just enough to have a cool bike.